or for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Minister, we're here on the estimates today. You spent your entire uh, speech, uh, opening remarks, on a defense of Bill C-63. And uh, it, I recall uh, your predecessor, uh, Ms. Minister Lametti, when he was here. And uh, I asked him a question. It was uh, on the issue of MAID when I think 25 constitutional experts said the minister's opinion on the matter was wrong. So I asked the minister, uh, who's right, you or these 25 constitutional experts? And he said, I am. And that kind of hubris is probably a, a good reason why he's no longer here, and now, now you are. But we're starting to see uh, that same thing on C-63 with yourself when virtually everyone has come out and said that this is an effort to tramp down on, on freedom of speech. Even um, uh, uh, Margaret Atwood described Bill C-63 as Orwellian. David Thomas, who was chairperson of the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal, he said, and I'm quoting him, the Liberal government's proposed Bill C-63, the Online Harms Act, is terrible law that will unduly impose restrictions on Canadians' sacred charter right to freedom of expression. That is what the Liberals int intend. By drafting a vague law, creating a draconian regime to address online harms, they will win their wars without firing a bullet. So there's a diverse group of people that feel that Bill C-63 is an outrageous infringement on Canadian, uh, Canadians' rights. And uh, we also see um, a government that will not stand up for the most vulnerable. Instead of a bill, you had the opportunity, Minister, to introduce a bill that would have protected children. But your government, true to form, could not resist uh, taking aims at their, at their political opponents. This is not about hate speech. It's about speech that liberals hate and shutting that down. And now, Bill C-63, C if it ever unfortunately were to pass, it too will be struck down by the courts. And if you were in, in a position um, to, uh, to appeal it, I have no doubt you would. And that, that brings me to my question on your government's uh, radical agenda. You've decided to file a number of appeals in recent court rulings. You've appealed a ruling that found the invocation of the Emergencies Act was unconstitutional. You appealed a ruling that found that the plastic b bag ban and the plastic straw ban that Canadians hate so much was unconstitutional. You were quick to appeal those. But when the Supreme Court ruled that the six-month minimum sentence for the crime of child luring was unconstitutional, you chose not to file an appeal. So, Minister, why is it when your government's radical agenda is challenged in the courts, you're quick to appeal, but when vulnerable Canadians' lives are at stake, you choose not to appeal? Mr. Moore, I'll say to you that I disagree with pretty much everything you just said in terms of how you've characterized things. And okay. what I'd say to you is that look at actually the constitutional record internationally. We looked at France, Australia, Germany, England. In France, a takedown provision across all sets of content, including hatred content, was struck down as unconstitutional. That's specifically why we are not pursuing that. We have a takedown provision within 24 hours of child pornography and revenge porn. I'm sure and I hope we can agree on that liberals and conservatives. We do not have an immediate takedown provision over other materials. That's the first point. The second point is that you, you talked about uh, uh, the author Margaret Atwood. I have tremendous respect for Margaret Atwood. I've invited her into a conversation about the nuances of this bill. She has a, a concern about freedom of expression. I share that concern. I'm duty bound to uphold freedom of expression. I swore an oath to the Constitution. I'm the only cabinet minister that does. What we've done through a careful approach is look at how we can calibrate the important need to keep Canadians safe and to protect liberty of expression. If you listened to Carla Beauvais at the press conference, Mr. Moore, you would have heard her talk about the fact that her own speech is being curtailed because she is so intimidated from participating in public discourse. We're trying to empower that public discourse. There are safeguards in the bill, Mr. Moore, that I would urge you to look at about how Facebook makes its determinations in terms of ensuring that they respect freedom of speech, how the Digital Safety Commissioner must ensure that non-discrimination oh, occurs thank you, and how uh, courts would Minister. review these processes to ensure that liberty of expression Madam, is always Madam maintained. Madam Chair, we're going to have lots of time to debate um, Bill uh, C-63 in the future. I think the, the verdict is coming out very quickly on that. I do want to use what's left of my time to move now my motion regarding uh, uh, former Minister David Lametti 
on the issue of uh, ex-judge Delil, uh, where the minister ordered a new trial. So I'm moving that motion now, Madam.